good morning students welcome to 11th standard chemistry video class in this lesson basic concepts of chemistry and chemical calculations today we have to discuss the next important topic empirical formula and molecular formula it is present in your chemistry volume 1 book page number 10 Definition for Empirical Formula Empirical formula of a compound is the formula written with the simplest ratio of the number of different atoms present in one molecule of the compound as subscript to the atomic symbol. Next definition Molecular Formula Molecular formula of a compound is the formula written with the actual number of different atoms present in one molecule as a subscript to the atomic symbol again i repeat molecular formula of a compound is the formula written with the actual number of different atoms present in one molecule as a subscript to the atomic symbol empirical formula and the molecular formula also explained with an example consider acetic acid with the molecular formula c2h4o2 the ratio of carbon hydrogen oxygen is given by 1 is to 2 is to 1 hence the empirical formula is ch2o again i repeat the molecular formula of acetic acid is C2H4O2 where the empirical formula is CH2O. Here we are having one more example to explain empirical formula and molecular formula. The example is glucose. The glucose with the molecular formula C6H12O6. The ratio of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen is 1 is to 2 is to 1. Hence, the empirical formula of glucose is CH2O. Again, I repeat, glucose with the molecular formula C6H2O6 where the empirical formula is CH2O. For the determination of empirical formula, they will give the element name and their mass percentage. We have to do some calculation. At the end of the calculation, we will get some value that is to be substituted in the subscript to the symbol of the element. What is meant by subscript? A number which should be written below the symbol is said to be subscript. For example, in CH2O, we are having carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Here, the carbon with subscript value 1, the hydrogen with subscript value 2, the oxygen with subscript value 1. Finally, we will get C1H2O1 or otherwise C H2O. First, we will discuss the steps involved in determination of empirical formula. Then, we will discuss the determination of molecular formula. Next topic determination of empirical formula from given elemental analysis data determination of empirical formula involves four steps step one step two step three and step four let me discuss one by one this topic is present in your chemistry volume one book page number 10 and 11 determination of 
empirical formula. Step 1. Since the composition is expressed in percentage, we can consider the total mass of the compound as 100 gram and the percentage values of individual elements as mass in grams. Here, the first step explains they will provide the elements present in the compound along with their mass value. The mass value is expressed in percentage. We have to add the mass of all the elements present in the compound. The value should be equal to 100 gram. So, in the step 1, they will provide the name of the elements present in the given compound along with the mass values. The mass value is expressed in percentage. Step 2. Divide the mass of each element by its atomic mass. Again I repeat. Divide the mass of each element by its atomic mass. This gives the relative number of moles of various elements in the compound. In the step 2, we have to calculate the relative number of moles of various elements present in the compound. In your 10th standard itself, you learned the formula for calculating relative number of moles. Relative number of moles is equal to mass divided by atomic mass. Again I repeat, number of moles is equal to mass divided by atomic mass. The mass of each element is given in the question. The atomic mass of the each element that we have to know. For example, carbon, the atomic mass is 12. For hydrogen, the atomic mass is 1. For oxygen, the atomic mass is 16. Hence, the relative number of moles of various elements in the compound is calculated in the step 2. Step 3. Divide the value of relative number of moles obtained in the step 2 by the smallest number of them to get the simplest ratio. In order to get the simplest ratio, we have to divide the value of relative number of moles obtained in the step 2 by the smallest number of them. In the step 2, we are getting the value of relative number of moles in which we have to find the smallest number and it should be divided by the relative number of moles obtained in the step 2. If we are not getting the simplest ratio in step 3, we have to use the step 4. In case of the simplest ratio obtained in the step 3 are not whole number, then they may be converted into whole number by multiplying by a suitable smallest number. Again I repeat, if we are not getting any whole number in step 3, they may be converted into whole number by multiplying by a suitable smallest number. It should be given in the step 4. Hence, these are all the 4 steps involved in determination of empirical formula. Hence, we completed the topic determination of empirical formula from given elemental data. Next topic, determination of empirical formula from the composition of elements. We are having two examples example 1 and example 2 first we will discuss example 2 then we will discuss example 1 it is given in your book page number 11 right side example 2 an organic compound present in vinegar has 40 percentage carbon 6.6% .6 hydrogen and 53.4% oxygen. Find the empirical formula of the compound. Here we are having three elements namely carbon, hydrogen and 
oxygen the carbon with 40 percentage hydrogen with 6.6 percentage and oxygen with 53.4 percentage first we have to add all the three percentage 40 plus 6.6 plus 53.4 which is equal to 100 suppose if you are not getting the total 100 which means some other element is present now we will discuss the determination of empirical formula using the given data first you have to create a six column table in which the first column contains element the second column contains percentage the third column contains atomic mass the fourth column contains relative number of moles the fifth column contains simplest ratio the last column contains simplest ratio in whole number this table column will explain the determination of empirical formula in the first column we have to place the name of the element which is given in the question we have placed carbon hydrogen and oxygen carbon with the symbol c hydrogen with the symbol h oxygen with the symbol o the second column we have to substitute the percentage which is given in the question the carbon with 40 percentage hydrogen with 6.6 percentage the oxygen with 53.4 percentage in the third column we have to substitute the atomic mass of the element the carbon atomic mass is 12 hydrogen the atomic mass is 1 the oxygen the atomic mass is 16 in the fourth column it contains relative number of moles in 10th standard we are having the formula to determine number of moles or relative number of moles relative number of moles is equal to mass divided by atomic mass here the percentage is taken as mass which is present in column 2 where atomic mass is present in column 3 we will find the relative number of moles of carbon hydrogen and oxygen first we will calculate the relative number of moles of carbon in the fourth column we are having relative number of moles for carbon 40 divided by 12 which is equal to 3.33 the 40 is nothing but mass of carbon where 12 is nothing but atomic mass of carbon hence 40 divided by 12 which is equal to 3.33 hence the relative number of moles of carbon is 3.33 next one for hydrogen relative number of moles of hydrogen is equal to 6.6 divided by 1 which is equal to 6.6 the 6.6 is mass of hydrogen where 1 is nothing but atomic mass of hydrogen hence 6.6 divided by 1 which is equal to 6.6 hence the relative number of moles of hydrogen is 6.6 finally the relative number of moles of oxygen is calculated from 53.4 divided by 16 which is equal to 3.33 here 53.4 is nothing but mass of oxygen where 16 is nothing but atomic mass of oxygen hence 53.4 divided by 16 is equal to 3.33 hence the relative number of moles of oxygen is 3.33 in the fifth column we are having simplest ratio 
how we will get simplest ratio value. In the relative number of moles column, we have to find the smallest number value. Divide the relative number of moles of each element by the smallest number of relative number of moles, we will get the simplest ratio. Here, 3.33 is the smallest number in relative number of moles column. Hence, you have to divide the relative number of moles of each element by 3.33. So, for carbon, 3.33 divided by 3.33 which is equal to 1. The simplest ratio of carbon is 1. Next one for hydrogen. 6.6 .6 divided by 3.33 which is equal to 2. The simplest ratio of hydrogen is 2. Finally, for oxygen, the simplest ratio is equal to 3.33 divided by 3.33 which is equal to 1. Hence, the simplest ratio of oxygen is 1. So, the simplest ratio in whole number is present in the last column. We have to substitute the value for carbon, it is 1. For hydrogen, it is 2. For oxygen, it is 1. From the value of simplest ratio in whole number, we can write the empirical formula. The empirical formula of the given compound is CH2O. How to write the empirical formula? The first element is carbon. Its symbol is C. Its simplest ratio in whole number is written in the subscript. The simplest ratio in whole number for carbon is 1. Hence, it should be written as C1. Or otherwise, it should be considered as C. Next one, hydrogen. The symbol is H. Its simplest ratio in whole number is 2. It should be written in the subscript. Hence, we are getting H2. Finally, for oxygen, the symbol is O. The simplest ratio in whole number is 1. It should be written in the subscript. So, finally, we will get O, 1 or O. So, the empirical formula of the compound is C, H2O. Again, I repeat, for the given composition, the empirical formula of the compound is C, H2O. Hence, we completed the example 2. In our next video, we will discuss the example 1. Thank you.